Hey, Steve Lewis back tonight. Tonight I've got Saline OS 1.0. Now, it's based on Debian, of course, but the Squeeze version. So it's super duper new. Lovely, jubbly, like it. Got a bit of a Saline thing going on there and the thing there. Go for the bar for the bottom for you. So Naptix there, XFCs, settings managers there, Gilo's there too. Catfish for searching for your files. XF Burn, love it. Photox for your photos. That's nice to have it there. Rhythm box for your music. <coughs> Excuse me. Parole, that's got your out of prison, as you know, for your videos. Dictionary, go along a bit more. G Calculate and Osmo for your calendar. Open Office, full open office suite, by the way. Pitch in for your chat stuff. And iStuff for your mail and news. And Chromium for your main web browser. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Go to the top right hand corner. Right, if you go to quit, there's your logout screen as you would normally find. Super. It's XF, XFCE, by the way. There's your time. If you click that, it cleans all the flash cookies and all the browser cookies from Chromium, but not from the other browser. Auto update. There's my connection and there's my sound. So that's really nice. You get a home folder, file system, and a user manual, PDF styly. Nice to have that on the application. Really nice. Well, on the distro, should I say. So run down a bit, you get the usual XFC stuff. Yeah, settings, loads there, as you would expect from XFCE. No doubt, no doubt. Now, it's a nice remaster, this one, actually. And it's actually done quite a little good job. It's really fast and really runs really nice. I tried one of the alphas, I just didn't want to play ball, but this one is really, really fast and super duper. Now, I've installed OpenShot just to make sure Synaptic works, and OpenShot works like a ball and a gem. Nice. But it's not the most current one. If you want the most current one, you've got to install the PPA. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. Of course you do. And you get all the nice stuff. Anyway, multimedia again. Been through that before me. Network. Chromium, I've said before. Iceweasel, I've installed. Because, you know, just to make sure everything works. Abbey Word, I've also installed. So, you know, that's all right. Go down the system, all the other stuff. There's lots of remaster stuff here. That's how he's done the distro. But there's no bad thing. You know, it helps you get along and do stuff. So I don't really mind, to be honest with you. And it is really, really fast. Now I'm going to open the user manual, which is a PDF. And we're going to run down there. It tells you all about it. So you don't actually go need to go on the net, really, to check it out. Everything is in here that you need to know. Now the main thing is here, so if you're not in the US, Japan, or maybe even Australia, you can install the Restricted Multimedia Codex. Very nice, I says to myself, so I go in and do that, I think. So open my terminal, so click on my terminal, in my bar that hides itself, and you type in the instructions that it actually tells you. So I'm doing this one as it says in the book. You know, sometimes we do things different ways. Normally I will go to Synaptic and do it more individually, but with this one, it does it all itself. Okay, so GKSU install restricted multimedia. No, multimedia. See, I've typed that wrong, and I. It's very late, by the way. Please bear with me. Okay, we'll install a restricted. M oh, no, oh, can't go back again, Neil, you stupid plonker. We'll go back in and try that one again, show you one more time. Should we try and spell multimedia correctly? Yes, I think I'll do it this time. See, I could have cut that, couldn't I? But then it's no good, is it, really? Because it, um, you know, makes me not really good. But hey, I'm really good. So I put my password. Off it goes and does its stuff. In a bit. There we go. Now I've actually already installed it. Okay. So make sure you do this the first time you install the distro. Because it is a really nice distro to use. It's really, really fast. I installed it on a one gig laptop. And it was so lightly and fast, it's unbelievable. Even though the ISO is a DVD size, it's no longer CD size. Although there is an alternate C CD or download you can do. Just do the base and go from there. But we'll get to that in a minute, I think. Don't you think? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah, that's definitely what I was to show you. Yeah, we'll scroll down one more time. Drivers for your graphics card. If you scroll down the PDF, one more thing. It actually tells you the instructions exactly how to get your driver for your graphics card, which is really super duper, especially with 3D stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course you do. Anyway, where was we? Yes, I remember. I right the browser. Google is the main page here, and I'm going to put in Saline. OS. So, say OS there. 
I could just tick it there. No, I'm going to click there instead. I'm going to go to the actual site. There you go. Here's the site. Tells you all about it. That's what I was telling you about before. It's based on Debian Squeeze. That's Debian 6 Squeeze. And they want to go to Debian 7 Wheezy in the end. So that's a pretty good. I mean, I hope they stay around long enough. This is the trouble is you get some distros stay around sometimes. And sometimes they just disappear. Which is really not good for me and you, is it really? Is it? But it tells you all about it. Go to the download section. You get the 32-bit, uh, the 64-bit and the alternate CD, which is a CD size. So if you just want to do a CD one, then just directly install it. That might be better for you. So, yeah, that was pretty super duper. I'm really getting to like this, actually. Application again, you just right-click on the desktop, as you would, it's XFCE, as you would know. I've installed Ice Weasel, which is a Firefox-branded sort of thing based on the same thing. There's lots of things different, but hey, won't go narrow about that now. So we'll go straight to the tube. Now, Ganesh does not work on this distro. And I don't think Ganesh has worked from the past week, by the way. It was working for me earlier, but not now. So if I say uninstall it and go to for the flash installer, and the flash installer takes ages to download. So it's one of my videos here on the tube because it's legal. Works nice. Freebie flash. Well, it's not semi freebie, isn't it? But yeah, works super cool. Got the word there. Blimey. Where'd that come from? Yeah. But yeah, flash works. So you can use all your stuff, no problem. Yeah. Super duper 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 duper. Now, if you are a Debian based distribution, and go from here this could be for you i think really could be for you so yeah i'm going to give this one 3.99 out of 5 sneaky linux you're going out i'll see you later